One of the greatest realizations and gifts is when you realize that your spiritual journey and your life journey are exactly the same thing. You don't have a secular life and an unsecular life. There's just life. We make it very, very difficult, both are impossible, because of how we approach life. Let's start with when life is very simple. Life is very, very simple when you realize you're a guest here. You've been here for a few years. It's been going on for 13.8 billion years. It started in the beginning. It manifested itself. You had nothing to do with it. The stars and the planets made themselves. All of the atoms on the periodic table baked themselves in the stars. They exploded. The stars exploded and all of these particles got pulled together into planets and and all of this happened and had nothing to do with you. And it still has nothing to do with you. If it had nothing to do with you for 13.8 billion years, it will have nothing to do with you once you leave tomorrow, all right? In relative sense of things, it will go on. I talk about this so many times, I just wonder who gets it. How does it have anything to do with you? I don't understand. It's very confusing. And in addition, not only has it been going on for 13.8 billion years without you, and it made all of this, everything you see around you, it made of its own structure. And you know when you leave, it will be going on. I know it's hard to believe, but it will. It has when everybody else left. But the one that really I want you to get once. All right, let's forget about all of time, of eternity, fine. Right now, you're experiencing what you're experiencing. Very good, very nice. What are you not experiencing? What else is going on? What other moments are there in Gainesville? Houses you could go into that there'd be moments like this going on outside, behind you. Like There's a lot of places, little spots that your awareness could be aware of, like hundreds of billions in Gainesville alone, correct? How many are there in Florida? How many are there across the entire Earth? How many are there in the whole universe? Well, you're not experiencing those moments, are you? They're still going on. If I say to you they have nothing to do with you, you're perfectly willing to say, I understand that. They have nothing to do with me. They're going on without me, aren't they? They're going on by themselves. So there's this one moment in front of you, and there's this 80, 100 billion, quillion, zillion moments going on at the same time all around you. Somehow the moment in front of you has something to do with you, but the rest of them don't. I hope they feel stupid, <laughs> right? It's like, how can that be? And, and in case you're really stubborn, if you have a very stubborn mind, you say, well, yeah, the moment in front of me has something to do with me, the rest don't. Look to the right. Now that one has something to do with you, but it didn't a moment ago. And the one you were looking at when you look to the right is not there, so it has nothing to do with you. I don't get it. There's something fishy going on. So you start to realize, I have lost the sense of reality. Every single moment in the universe has gone on and is going on and will go on without me. Therefore, it has nothing to do with me. Literally nothing to do with me. Nothing. Zero. Nothing. It is going on by itself. Tough, isn't it? All right, you better do this. You have to do this. You have to be, ye shall know the truth and this truth shall set you free. This is not, not arguable. This is just a truth. I'm not tricking you. That's the truth. So you realize it's not that the moment in front of you is different, it's that you're doing something weird. You're doing what we call the personal. In the trade, we call that the personal. You have brought your sense of awareness, your sense of being into this moment and said that because you're aware of it, it has something to do with you. That's like I take a light, a flashlight, and I aim it into a big warehouse that's black, totally dark. And what it falls on, it just happens to fall on. That's what it sees. That thing it falls on has nothing to do with the flashlight, and the light has nothing to do with what it falls on. I can move it wherever I want. It's just that we're, the, the, the nature of light is that it illumines where it falls. Therefore, it illumines the part it's looking at, that it falls on. It doesn't mean it has nothing to do with it. It's not related to it. The thing was there a moment ago before it shined on it. It didn't all of a sudden become different than everything else, did it? 
So you do understand that what your light is shining on, tiny little you know beam in an entire government warehouse, pitch black, what it's shining on has nothing to do with the light or you. It just happens to be what it's shining on. It has its own history. When you turn it away, it'll still be there. It has nothing to do with you. That is true of the light of consciousness. You are aware. You are conscious. When your consciousness falls upon objects, you become aware of them. Exactly the same as when a flashlight shines in that warehouse. The object was there before you looked at it. The object will be there after you look at it. It has been there, has an entire history of why it is the way it is, has nothing to do with you. But that's not what it seems like. Why? Why?